Hey, what's going on guys? Tonight's video, we are going to be removing old chalk and replacing bathroom chalk in our shower. And the reason why I'm doing this is because moved into a uh, rented uh, townhouse and very good deal. But of course, with a good deal comes a little bit of wear and tear because this place was built in about 1990. So as you can see over here, that's pretty gross, right? That's pretty gross. So that's just kind of like nasty chalk and homeowners you guys know what I'm talking about if this is a video you've already seen before but that's just nasty so we want to go ahead and re-chalk the corners get some really some good solid white looking in there smooth surface do it well and do it professional but we don't want to pay a lot of money so grab your gun this is a caulking gun here and don't worry look in the description box below for every tool I use in this video we have our paint scraper to remove old chalk. We got our nice paper towels. We got a little bin to put all the old chalk in so it doesn't float down the drain. We got a razor blade just in case if we need to get some tight, tight corners there. And let's see, we also have, dun, 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 dun. we got our DAB, premium kitchen bath and adhesive sealant, waterproof, easy cleanup. And this is Quick Seal Plus. And again, look in the description box below. First thing what we're going to do, I don't want to make this video too long here. First thing what we're going to do though, we're going to take our paint scraper here. We're going to come over here to the corners and we're just going to kind of get this up here like this. And we're just going to go ahead and remove all the tad bits that uh, come up easily. See how it's kind of scraping up there a little bit there. Um, and then uh, if you see anything like this over here, you know, just kind of scrape it like this. Don't worry, you're not going to ruin your tile as long as you don't take out big divots out of it, you know, but just kind of get that old crap up there. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to lay down a nice smooth surface and I'll show you how to do that. What I do is I caulk it right onto it and I take my finger and I wipe it like this, nice even strokes, and just have a rag where you can wipe it off of your hand. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alright guys, first thing what we want to do is we want to snip the top of our cap here. So our little gun right here, you insert it in the hole in about a 45 degree angle or so. You pull back on the handle here and there is a little like that. And that snips off the top there. Once the top is snipped, then you load it in the gun. And if you want it more fine, then you just snip off the very end of it. If you want it really, really thick, then you jam it more and then snip off the top there. But again, if you want it fine, so very detailed, I'm gonna go ahead and be a little bit more detailed, so I'm just gonna snip off the top so it comes out very little at a time. Again, if you're just kinda of wanting to get it done and put a lot in there, then of course, then you would go like that. But again, 45 degree angle there, so it snips it off really nice and clean. Okay, we got it loaded into our gun here, and now all you do to make it go, just push on the trigger there, and that's going to start loading it up there. And then again, once it's nice and tight, then you're going to keep squeezing, and there you go. And uh, that uh, was a little wasteful there, but I'm going to clean that up. Make sure your surface is dry, and let's put a nice little, uh, quick little zip on there and show you what it looks like. All right, so what I did is I laid on a nice little thin stream here, and now how to get it even, you don't just leave it like this. So I have a little special technique here where I use my middle finger, or I use my... Uh, pointer finger there and I just kind of push it down there and then I guide it along the edge and you're going to get a big clump going here but it, what it's going to do is it's going to get right there in the edge there and then you just clean up this mess right here so it just kind of goes on nice and smooth right in that little corner there like that. So have a paper towel handy, have a little washcloth handy so you can wipe that off your fingers there and then again so you can clean up this here before it dries as well. Alright guys, here's the final product here and beautiful just white strips now white lines beautifully chalked check this out here we go here in the corners you know no more black nasty gooberness oh it was disgusting I did it on the bottom of the shower door here around the back side here check this out though this was also really cool so down here chalked again look at that beautiful white stripe all the way around the toilet brim um, we got it over here by the wall. We have it here next to the shower. 
just really makes it look a whole lot better. Look at how beautiful that is. Just white chalk, beautiful lines. Got our shower accessories going now. So things are looking really good, guys. Um, I really appreciated this project. We got our nice little bath mat here. Things are looking good. My uh, Rainmaker 7000 right there. I got a video how to install that. So check that one out well on my, uh, my uh, channel there. I also got uh, how to replace a toilet seat, toilet seat lever. Uh, don't worry about that. That'll be another video. Um, so guys, check it out and enjoy your beautiful new shower. Thumbs that video up. Look in the description box below again, guys, for all the description links, all the products used. Pick them up for yourself. Read more about them. Thumbs that video up and subscribe. Appreciate you guys. You guys have a good night.